Hello and welcome, this is Honeysuckle. Today we are going to be checking out a game called No Place Like Home. Now this is early access, all features are subject to change. We're currently on version 0.15.104. I do have several game saves, played a lot, I really enjoy it. We're going to start a new game together. So we can run through and cover some tips and tricks and probably play through what all is available today. So, WSAD keys to move. You can press tab to open your inventory. Um, as you can see, it's not full yet. We'll have to unlock the rest of those. Your quests will be in here. You have an encyclopedia to show you your controls. And there is a little map. We start right here. This is our home. Press escape to close that. Now we'll hold space to vacuum trash and other resources. You do have to hold it. You can't just tap it. So you just hold it. It'll vacuum up all the trash. It goes into your inventory. So just suck up all this good trash. Clean up this world. And apparently environmentalists. Alright, there we go. Oh, there's another little one sitting there. Now, trash cubes can be destroyed using the drill. You can press it to swing it, or you can hold it to drill. Now, I like to vacuum at the same time that I drill so that everything is picked up. Now these red ones, we can't break those. We'll need to upgrade the tool to the rubble. And in the tutorial, we're not going to be able to do that. But that's okay. This just shows you how to play the game. Now, the tutorial, if you can see in the upper right-hand corner, it's stuck on 7 o'clock. Time will not advance while you're in the tutorial, just learning how the game works. Um, since I've played this before, I do know that whatever you do here in the tutorial, um, you can't collect anything from this area, but you can carry things over. So, here's the recycler. Everything's going to work a lot faster here in the tutorial, just for training purposes. You press E. You interact with most things with E to fill the recycler with trash. Once it's finished, you press E again to collect the materials. Normally, they take a lot of time to finish. Uh, you can get like three, maybe four times a day if you do it like right in the beginning of the day and wait to the last second. Um, recycle materials are your basic currency for crafting. Now, in the very bottom right-hand corner to the far right, uh, the little blue and brown and white looking section says zero right now. Well, that will go up. We're going to place our trash 50 at a time. We get five back, and there it just went up to five. 50 more trash. Collect recycled. Place more trash. Now we know it takes 50, so we're just going to do 50 at a time until we're down to where we don't have enough to do it again. So I'm not going to place the rest of my trash in there because it'll carry over. Now you can vacuum up the potato seeds. Then you select them with your hot uh, quick access bar, one through zero. So they're on number four. We press four. I'm not actually going to plant these because I want to carry them with me to the actual world. But as you can see, these turn green where you can plant. They stay white where you can't reach them. You can only reach a certain distance from you. Um, you can see where the plants are and you just plant with left click. But I'm going to hit right click to cancel that. Water can be vacuumed as well with space. It replenishes the pump's capacity. If you can see that little water droplet right above the number one on the hot bar, that is 100 of 100, our tank capacity and how much is filled. So you can water plants using the right mass button. You press it for a quick burst like this, or you can hold it for a constant stream. And you can make it go further away or closer depending on how you change the camera view. As you can see, that did use up some water, so we are going to go back here and just fill back up real quick. Oh, that does finish by saying plants only grow when they are watered. So you do have to water them every day. They take about three days in-game to grow. So you can pick up fully grown plants with eat, and then you collect them with the vacuum. I like to just vacuum first so that they collect right up. Then you can tame animals with E. Um, it will tell you what they want. He wants a potato. I'm not going to waste my potatoes on these because I don't get to keep them once the tutorial is done. I don't get to keep the chickens. I can keep the potatoes as long as I don't use them up, so I'm not going to use them. Here's the kitchen. You press E to open the kitchen. You can pick mashed potatoes from the recipe list. It's in the bottom right corner, and you click cook to create them. You'll learn more recipes later. Cooked meals are more valuable for trading and preserving. So we click mashed potatoes here. It's made using two potatoes. It automatically puts two over. 
quick cook and you get your mashed potatoes. We close out of here and you see mashed potatoes are in six. Now here, you press E to open your preserving machine. You can put both raw and cooked food inside. You click preserve. It normally takes a day for the machine to make jars out of food. Preserve food is a basic trading currency. That is that other little bar down there to the lower right. So this says it needs food. We will open it. Now you can put food over here and preserve it, but I want to save my potatoes. I'm just going to right click the mashed potatoes over. Now this was made using two. If we use just one raw food, you get one preserved meal from it. This was two potatoes. And if you see, once we preserve those, that cooked meal, we get three, three prepared meals from those two potatoes. So here, to craft new items and upgrades, you need to obtain a recipe first. Recipes can be bought for food from various villagers. To purchase a recipe, talk to a villager or press E near the stand. So we're going to press E. Here's the recipe for a bonsai tree. It costs one meal. So you can see we do have three. So we're going to learn this recipe. And it says recipe unlocked in the workshop. So now we go over to the workshop, which is right over here. And once you buy the recipe, you can craft it in your workshop. This applies both to items and upgrades. Items can be crafted many times, while upgrades work just once. You press E near your workshop. The workshops can have multiple tabs. Switch between tabs in the top right corner. So we'll open it up. Now here's the tabs. Here's where the tabs would be. But since this is a tutorial, we only have the one. So we'll select the bonsai tree. It only costs one recycled material. We have 25. So we'll craft it. Now this next one is just, uh, you can place buildings by selecting them using the quick access bar, 1 through 0. Press E to rotate. Once you are satisfied, press the left mouse button to place. Buildings can be picked up using R. So we're going to collect, select this with number 6. You can't place it real close to yourself. If it's red, it's not going to place. So you just find a place where it turns green. You can walk around, see where else it will place. Uh, now the camera angle will stay the same once you are trying to place a building. E to rotate it. And then we'll just place it. But we'll go ahead and pick that up with R. It selects it. says, are you sure you want to pick up bonsai tree? Yes. So we pick it up. Then we have boxes. Boxes can be destroyed with the drill placed inside special slots using E. They can be used to block environmental hazards and create bridges and passageways. If the slot has chains near it, the box can't be removed after that. So we're going to hit the box. We're going to come over here. Hit E to place the box. No chains. So we can pick it back up. And then we'll come in here. We can press the button using E to open the gate. Pipes connect buttons to devices. So we can see the pipe connects that button to that gate. And we press it and go in. Then we can press R to close the building like this, uh, close to a building, like this chest or plant field, to destroy it and add it back to your inventory. So we will hit R. Yes, we want the plant field. We'll have to vacuum that up. And then yes, pick up the chest. And then you climb the ladder using E. And we start here in this area. There is our tree house up there. It is like the TARDIS, bigger on the inside. And Ellen's rose, Ellen's base. We will open this chest, take the book and the prepared meal. Some preserves needed, new quest. From what I heard, trading on earth is done using delicious preserves. Now to get those, I will need to craft the proper equipment. Before I can do that, however, someone has to teach me how to do that. Grandpa told me about a nice shopkeeper living close down hill. He might just help me build a preserving machine. So that's cool. And another new quest, home for the miners. It looks like Grandpa's old chicken coop has been destroyed and his chickens have gone wild. If I want to tame them again, I need to build a new home for them. So we need to build a chicken coop. All right, well, let's just start cleaning up some trash here. We're gonna drill and vacuum. Clean up all this stuff. We do have a recycler. Let's go ahead and put some trash in there. Let that start working. We have some potatoes. Let's go ahead and select those up. Now I'm not going to plant any of the potato seeds I have currently because I would like for everything to just go ahead and just all run at the same time. Um, everything mature at the same time. Now there are different kinds of trash piles. The regular brown ones give you trash. Uh, the piles, of course, just 
regular trash. Now there are, let's see if I can find some to show. Right in here, you see ones with like pieces of wood sticking out? Right there, those. When you break those, you get old wood. Those will come in handy. These are just all regular trash. Clean all those up. And then over here, see these with the little plant pots and little seed packets? These will give you the seeds. We got some more potato seeds. There's another chest. We'll go ahead and hit E. We got some components and recycled material. So we'll just keep cleaning up here. We're going to clean up this first little area to start with. Like more seeds. There's another suitcase. We got Looks like more components. More old wood here. And it looks like we're about to face our first enemy. Now there's a couple of ways to attack the enemies. I prefer using water since they are robots. It kills them the fastest. And then you get batteries from them. So then we'll just keep collecting the trash. You can also just like whack at them with your drill. Just swing at them. Uh, you can drill them like I'm drilling the trash, but it doesn't take off as many hit points. There's another suitcase. Um, whacking them is faster to take off hit points when you're fighting robots. If you run out of water, that's a good way to do it. Oh, here's another new quest. Smashing time. This rubble is just too hard. If I want to be able to clean the entire farm, I must upgrade my drill so that I can break through stacks of it. So now we need to craft a drill upgrade for breaking rubble. Alright, let's just keep cleaning. Yes, I know, we need to upgrade your tool. We'll get there. We're just cleaning. There's another suitcase. See, there's a suitcase back there. Behind those, we need to get there. Here's one. Another meal. See, there's a sign pointing to the shop. It's over there. We're not going there just yet. We're just going to concentrate on this first area. Oh, we're able to get water through the fence there. So now there's another robot right back there. But we're going to sneak up behind them. Because if you sneak up behind them, they don't see you coming. So they don't start attacking. But we're just going to spray them with water. There we go. So we'll just keep cleaning. Now if you look in the top right hand corner, you can see the clock. It tells you what time of day it is. Now at 2200, every night you will fall asleep. There's another chest in that bush, so I just collected that. And you will fall asleep no matter where you're at, at 2200 every night. So. Just keep that in mind as you play. But right now it's just noon. We've got plenty of time. Now this section here, as you can tell, is all those red things. So we can't even get in there until we upgrade our drill. And I can see that our recycler over there is done. So we're going to run over here and take those, put those back in. And then keep cleaning up this trash. So we should have plenty of time to clean up this one area before we need to go sleep. Possibly go see the shopkeeper. Sometimes the trash explodes everywhere. So we're just cleaning up. I like to do area by area. Get everything cleaned up. Here's another chest hiding. We'll open that one. That's another prepared meal. Finish cleaning up this trash. Get some more potato seeds. Almost done. This 
will be our main farm area for planting crops, uh, cooking, recycling, things like that. So we're done here. Let's go ahead and clean out this. Take care of this bad guy. The water can be used as a long range weapon. That is nice. We're just going to clean out here. And there's another chest right in that one. So let's pick that up. Another meal. Finish cleaning out these. Back over here. It's almost 3 o'clock. We've still got plenty of time. And now we're going to ignore that manhole cover for now. Can't really do much right there anyway. We just hit the cage and the chicken is free. Yay, we saved the chicken. Alright. Shop again this way, so we will just go up to this door. It highlights and press E to go through. And here we are. There is the shopkeeper. We'll just start cleaning up trash on our way. Because that is our job in this world, is to clean up all this trash. Alright, let's talk. Hi, Ellen. Please enjoy your farm. You can get anything you need from my shop. So we'll say, show me the recipes you can teach me. And here we go. Now here's the basic preserving machine. Costs three potatoes and no food, which is good because sometimes you don't have food at this point. But we did save our potatoes from the tutorial, so we have plenty of potatoes to learn this recipe. And then we need... A chicken coop is seven meals and three potatoes. So let's learn that. All right, thank you, Mark. Now we will clean up here on our way back out. Now these trash piles here, you don't have to drill them. And you walk slow when you're doing the drill. So if it's just the big trash piles, just don't bother using the drill. Just use the vacuum. So we'll come up here, get this trash, and there's another chest. Some more components and a book. We'll clean up this trash, break these, there's another chest, okay. Alright, now let's go back through this door, back to our farm, because now that we bought those recipes, the blueprints, we need to build them. So we're going to run over here to our workshop. And there's the drill upgrade. It takes two components. I have four. And it takes seven recycled material. And I have 32. So let's craft that. We have it. And we have the quest complete. Smashing time. Now we also bought the preserving machine. It takes five recycled material. And two of the old woods. So we have that. And let's go ahead and make two more of these. Because we have a lot of trash that we need to take care of. And the chicken coop is 15 rubble. Well, now that we've upgraded our drill, we can smash the rubble. So let's go ahead and start breaking this rubble. All right, we'll open this chest. We'll get a key part two prepared meals and components. So now we're going to come in here. Oh, barn for robots. While exploring my grandpa's farm, I encountered a few types of robots. While most are hostile, some just run away. Perhaps I could find a way to tame them if I build a home for them. Would that be a garage or perhaps a barn? So we need to build a cube bot's lodge. So we'll, we will continue figuring out how to do that. to collect some more of uh, these things, clean up. We do have another robot over here. Just 
spray him with water. And he's gone. Now there are different types of robots in this area. Some of them will shoot at you. And that's this kind right here. We're just going to come in here and just spray him with water. And he is taken care of. Let's make our way over here. Take care of him. Oh, looks like we cleaned up a few bites. Set that chicken free. Clean up some more of this trash. Looks like our recycler over there is ready. Oh, there's another chest. Let's look at that. Oh look, well now we are getting tomato seeds. Good. So we are starting to run out of daylight. So what I'm going to do is start coming over here. I want to collect this recycled material and then I want to pick this up. Because I don't want them over here. I usually like to place my recyclers right over here. So we're going to hit tab. Get our recyclers down here. Okay. So we have number three. Eat or rotate. We'll place that here. Number four. Eat or rotate. Place that there. And number five, eat or rotate, and place it there. So we can put trash there, and there, and there. Now we also have some dirt here, the plant fields, so we can expand our planting field. So let's do that. Number two, place one there, and there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. So there we go. Now we do need to water these or they will not grow anymore. And we do want these to go ahead and grow. I'm not going to plant any new things though. So here are all these. I'm going to place this chest right here. And this will hold all of our extra trash just to kind of clean up our inventory. We're getting a little close on that. Then we need to place our preserving machine. We'll just place that right here in the center for now. This face is right there. All right, and we completed that quest. And we need to place a chicken coop. I don't think we cleaned out enough here yet. But let's do that real quick. We've got a little bit of time. pipes that are opposed to this gate. But we're not going to worry about it. Oh, a button. This pipe will lead me to the mechanism it operates. Press E to activate. So we're going to get the chicken coop that we have not built yet because I forgot we were needing rubble. So we're going to run over here. Now you see the time is flashing red because it is getting later in the day. So here we go to animals, chicken coop. Now we have enough rubble. We're going to craft it. It's down there on number two. So we're going to run over here, press 2, we're going to flip it around, and there we go. Home for miners. We completed that. Now we need to tame five chickens. Now we don't have enough potatoes, but we're going to do what we can. We've got one chicken there. Do I have any potatoes left? I don't have any potatoes at all. So we'll have to tame the chickens tomorrow. But it is late, so we are going to run up into our treehouse. Handyman needed. Grandpa's house is not in as good condition as I remember. I can't decorate it until the walls are repaired. So we need to find somebody that can fix our house. But we need to fix our bed, and we do have the wood. So let's go to sleep. Our game will be saved. And that will be the end of the episode today. And we will pick up with the next episode on tomorrow's game day. So I will see you then. And I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment. Give me constructive criticism. Whatever you want. We'll see you then.